Hey, 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 this is Donna, and are you on the process? Right now, it's March 18, 2024, right? Are you on the process of buying your house? Have you been looking online and see if now is your time? You know, spring or summer is here soon. We need to hear these four tips and things or strongest tips that you have to think about if you are thinking about getting your house today, right now, this month. Okay, so here we are. So you are thinking about buying a home soon, right? If so, you should know today's market is very, very competitive in many areas because the number of homes for sale right now is still very low. And that's leading to multiple, multiple offer scenarios. You know, moving into the big home buying season this spring, this is only expected to ramp up, right? More buyers are out there right now and there's not enough homes. Remember, four tips this way, you will be successful in getting that dream home for you in today's market. Number one, partner with a real estate agent. Partner with your local agent. Find them, look for them, call them. Rely on a real estate agent who can support your goals. You know, you guys should have the same goal as to getting the best price home for you. The one that is in your checkbox. Mm -hmm. Number two, number two, very important tips for you know your budget you know what isn't this the most important part right now as a buyer that you have to know you have to know your mortgage how much are you paying monthly does that include the monthly uh, principal and interest does that include the tax does that include the insurance you know talk to a lender make sure that you know when you first hire your agent that agent also has someone that can do they loan for you if you do not have any of that. And she should have somebody that can um, refer you to a good lender that will work with her or him, you know, in, in getting that property for you. Because you know what? Sellers right now are, are very savvy. They're just very, you know, they know that it's still a seller's market right now, meaning there's still a lot of buyers out there looking for property to buy versus the inventory right now so they still have an edge you know sellers have an edge of being picky and, and that's the truth that's the reality that they still have the power to really being picky right now so what does that mean for you as as a buyer right what that means is that when you make that offer to okay. make sure that you have the, a good down payment you have a good credit score to see if you know you have the pre-approval yet if your FICO score can really survive to the end of the process because you know this is a long process meaning when your offer get um, accepted, then the next process onto that is, you know, getting um, to the last um, phase of the process, which is, you know, I'm getting you the final approval of that loan. Once we get into the 30 day, 45 day process, you know, when, when they first accept your offer, right? Make sure your lender have that desktop underwriting approval for you, meaning you get your pre-approval and then number three, make a strong but fair offer. Fair is the word right it's only natural to want the best deal you can get on a home especially especially when affordability is tight however submitting an offer that's too low does have some risk risk is the word you don't want to make an offer that that will be tossed as soon as it's received just to see if it sticks as realtor.com explains an offer price that's significantly lower than the listing price is often rejected by seller who feel insulted. Insulted, most listing agents try to get their sellers to at least enter negotiations with buyers, right? They will try, and, and I can attest to that, but to counter offer with a number a little closer to the list price. However, if a seller is offended by a buyer or isn't taking the buyer seriously, there's not much you or the real estate agent really can do. If it's Dave, the expertise your agent brings to this part of the process will help you stay competitive and find a price that's fair to you and the seller. Number four, number four, trust your agent. Trust your agent during negotiations. You know what that means? It is very important that you and your agent are partner in this together. You know, you have to make sure that from the very first time you talk to an agent, you make sure that that agent is on your side. You know, 
again make sure that that agent is there for you okay because let me tell you this somewhere along the way you hired that agent you said yes to that agent and then somewhere along the way you disagree or you just think and, and feel something is not right right it's not right where she's not on your side or he is not on your side i'll tell you trust your gut hire another agent okay because this is not a process where you know you'll be stressing yourself in you feel that it's just you're just you know fighting for this yourself or alone you are alone on this and it shouldn't be like that your agent should be there for you along the way from start to finish she should know what to do next as far as the steps in getting you to that goal in getting your house also i have to add okay so being from the buyer's perspective on all of this right so interest rates i have to mention about interest rates it's just very sombering like everybody knows this right you are thinking about buying but here we are interest rates are still six percent although we are we can get the to the low um six percent now it's still pretty high right we are talking about six percent of what if you're in oc we are talking about houses that are easily lower um home price that we can get is six hundred thousand six hundred thousand so what is that you know when you are talking about six hundred thousand or safely if you want a four bedrooms two bath at least you know house you know easily we are talking about six hundred and eighty thousand dollars around oc or la areas um even in riverside or san bernardino areas right now they are still really around that much right so i feel you. it's just really impossible right now to get a house or your dream house um let alone right your dream house for um in today's market it is hard so let me help you find out a way or just at least check and see if that is really something right now that you can do or do right as, as far as getting your house so let's chat and uh, i'll definitely um would um be happy to help you and take a look at your scenario and see if maybe we can do this for you you know in today's market in buying your dream house where supply is very low compared to the demand right very competitive i can tell you it's very very competitive right now still due to the low inventory um, anywhere still in a very strong seller's market meaning there's just not enough not enough inventory that can cater to the needs or the demand of buyers that are really out there it's only march right now you know you can just imagine comes april or may summer um you know how much buyers are going to be on the market again so let's chat let's connect um i would love to help you if you need or have questions anything real estate or getting your loan or that pre that pre-approval or that du approval that you need we do have an, um, a lot of lenders right now that are competing for the best rates for you let me know uh, would love to help in and really see your scenario as to what we can do um, our office is located here in orange uh, close to Disneyland so if um, we're neighbors let's um, um, text me or call me and would love to help